Comedian D1 calls out Nollywood actress Halima Abubakar for apologizing to Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Earlier today, Halima Abubakar released a public apology she made to Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Recall that several months ago, Halima Abubakar came on social media to accuse Apostle Johnson Suleiman of infidelity, of having an affair with her, and several other accusation that she laid on Apostle Johnson Suleiman. The man of God couldn't take the accusation so he sued her to court and later the court ordered her to pay the sum of 10 million naira to clear for deformation of character and several other charges. The one in this video uh, spoke a lot about her blasting her for ever accusing apostle johnson suleiman how can you not be sure how can you just come on online to accuse someone of that kind of magnitude offense and you're coming out to apologize the damages he have done to his image and the man was denying that stuff that time and nobody listened to him now this lady is coming online to apologize her this is so, so unfortunate. Listen to what D1 said. Ah, I even pity the lady said because D1 said, Mark, no good. Now, wow. This Alima Abubaka, eh, they supposed to jail you. You are supposed, they supposed to lock you. Maybe they throw away the key. You are coming outside now to say that you are sorry. Sorry that what now? Sorry that, okay, you are supposed to remove it from the mind that you have. You don't tarnish the man image already now. You can't say you are sorry. What, why you do him in the first place? Why did you do it? You come as I say, this you and this man, the man, you get something to you carry belay three times. At least, if you are really in a relationship with somebody, you go get proof. At least you will get one person who say, Ah, you saw when he came to my room. You saw, you understand what I'm saying? You can't talk that kind of thing now. You can't come as I say, You are sorry. Okay, so, so we're supposed to remove that thing in the mind of, of our, in our mind or what? Una, una can just misbehave. We're supposed to remove it in the mind that what now? Is this, is, does it even make any sense to you? If to say, if if this thing was something that would bring a man down, eh? Now so, now so, how can you be pregnant three times? How can you have something with somebody? You will not have one evidence. It's impossible now. It's impossible. You can't come outside and say, I, I apologize. Eh, eh, me, eh, to me, a man of God now, to me, eh, to me, the apology no follow. You need to tell us why you did it in the first place. What was your motive? What happened? Who paid you? You're like, what, is there is there more to this thing? These are the questions. Not I am sorry. I am sorry that what now? That, okay, that I am sorry. Now we will now remove it. Oh, we we'll say ah, she's sorry. Oh yeah, let's erase it from our memory that it ever happened. It doesn't make any sense now. And everybody knows say, see, of all the men of God, with the with the. I don't want to talk predict where the uh, see vision where they see what they happen for front. Apostle Suleiman is is one person where ninety nine point nine percent of what in the talk they come to pass. What are you saying? See, it's when they talk they come to pass. It's one of the most credible prophets. You come outside and I say you are you are you are, you are sorry. You apologize. If now you you go take him. Can you build something to that level? Can you build your reputation? And you, everybody knows, say, body of Christ, did he, you know, did he look, did he judge where where? You come outside now. So, so as, you, as you said, you are sorry now. They will not let you go. You can see how unfair. That's how the other day, one person, they open my, they talk, say, see, see, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, now, man of God, like I said, he go forgive you. But I won't lie to you. What you did, it doesn't make any sense. And a lot of people are saying, oh, they force you to... They know they... See, if, if something really happened to you, if something really happened to you, nothing will any, be proved beyond reasonable doubt. At least you go get proof. If you... If you... If there was an abortion or whatever, which hospital, which thing happened? Like, do you understand? How can you be in a relationship with somebody you don't have proof? What, what was the communication like? Was it... Was it text message? Was it voice call? What? There will be proof. Man, I know they make and be like, say this thing. It's, it's, it's unfair. It's unfair. It's unfair. You just sit down on your own. Just do all these things. Come they come as I say, you are sorry. Ha! Oh, Allah. Oh, Allah. It is, well, a man of God, like I said. Shalom.